Hi guys, in this video we are going to see N-type and P-type semiconductors. N-type and P-type materials are made up of semiconductors. Silicon and germanium of group 4 in the periodic table are semiconductors. If we add impurity atoms of an element from group 5 in silicon or germanium we get an N-type semiconductor. If we drop an element of group 3 in silicon, we get a p-type semiconductor. Adding impurity atoms in a pure semiconductor is called doping. Now we look inside an n-type semiconductor. Silicon belongs to group 4 of the periodic table. In a crystal of silicon, each atom has 4 electrons in its outermost shell. To complete an octet, each atom has to form a covalent bond with its neighboring atoms. In a pure semiconductor, there are no free electrons to carry electric current. To enhance electrical conductivity of a semiconductor to a desired level, we dope a pentavalent impurity atom of an element from group 5 of the periodic table in a silicon crystal. For example, we dope a very small number of phosphorus atoms to a silicon crystal. Phosphorus belongs to group 5 of the periodic table. Therefore, it has 5 electrons in its outermost shell. Out of 5 electrons, 4 are consumed in covalent bonds with neighboring silicon atoms. The remaining 1 electron of each impurity atom is free to move from atom to atom. The pentavalent impurity atoms are called donor atoms because they donate free electrons. This free electron make an n-type material to conduct electric current. An n-type semiconductor is a lot more conductive than a pure semiconductor material due to these free electrons. In n-type semiconductor, large number of free electrons is present. Hence, free electrons are the majority charge carriers in the n-type semiconductor. Holes are less abundant in n-type material, therefore they are called minority carriers. P-type materials are covered in a separate video. Hope you would have enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching.